Hi YouTubers, welcome to my channel. My name's Colin Kilty, I live just outside of Hull. My main hobby is wildlife photography, but uh, over the years I've done backpacking, camping, well you name it basically. Uh, I'm a bit of a doomsday prepper, I mean it's a bit of everything really. Uh, I, I did actually buy a rucksack to do a review on it, but I've had five friends ask me in the last month that's if I have five friends. What's the best way of keeping the boats waterproof and what do I use? So anyway, I've decided to do my video. Over the years I've come across several waterproofing products. Some from the very expensive, some cheap, etc. I think I've tried them all. Uh, the very expensive ones are good, but when you're on a budget you just can't afford them all the time. And I was on an extreme budget years ago, uh, but uh, anyway, this is the method I come up with, and I've used it for about six years now, and I can't fault it. No, but that's my personal opinion. I guess it's right or wrong, but this is what I do. Anyway, let me start by I, cl I clean the boat. I use a mild solution, uh, a bit of fairy liquid in some water, and just generally clean it. I did come across this, which is a good tip. It comes under a pony brush. It's got like a uh, screwdriver bit at the end, big solid bristles and that I get in all the nooks and crannies when I'm washing them, etc. Obviously I do this outside. So minimise dirt in the house and uh, clean it. I wasn't going to say anything but I've watched quite a lot of YouTube videos on people preparing boats. And well, let's, let's say I've come across a few that have they've washed the boats and they've got their product and the boat's all soaking wet and they start applying the product to it immediately. Now that to me, I mean anybody with you know sense, I ain't saying they're right or wrong so please don't have a go but when leather gets wet and it's left wet it rots. So that to me is leaving wet leather underneath, it is sealing wet leather so basically it has to dry from inside out and that to me must be rotting the boat and making it crack. Now, like I said, I don't know if it's wrong or right, so please do have a go. But what I usually do, I usually leave my boat to dry out for at least a couple of days, sometimes a week. I have other boats in my arsenal, so I can always uh, take another pair if my favourite pair, which are these, are not ready. But anyway, this is the method I've come across, and uh, as far as I'm concerned, it works blooming well. So anyway, we all know these, I am going to insult the intelligence, but it's dubbing for boats. Get it all over the place, most shops sell it now, but to be honest, seeing most shops sell it now, it took me a while to find this. I haven't bought any for a long time, because usually I grab 10 or 20 at a go. And I think they're about 50, 60 p a tin, and you know, I have them for years. So I've just had to go out and get some of these, and it took me a while to find it. I'll tell you where I found it, Boise's, uh, which is a store around Britain. But I'm sure you can find it in traditional shops somewhere. Anyway, it's just traditional dubbing. I have tried that method, but I found just dubbing, you're walking down a boggy field, etc., wet field, whatever, and after about maybe say no, an hour, whatever, a couple of hours, I found that it was just wearing off the boat and my boat started leaking. So, like I said, I've tried various methods, but I, I went to a craft fair, it must be about seven years ago now, and I saw a guy messing about like this, with beeswax. Now, obviously, you, you can buy these blocks, I mean, these tow blocks, with 99 pay off eBay, I think it's about 40, 50 p. You can get them in various colours. In the one that I've mixed up there, it has got one of these in there, but it was black. Uh, I have, like I say, I have various boots in my arsenal, one pair is black. And so I was trying to make an all bound book sealer. But like I said, I come across that. The guy is telling me it was great for furniture, blah blah blah. He's going on and on. And he says waterproofing. And I thought, hello? Hmm, maybe could use that. So anyway, I ended up buying a, a couple of bars off him at the town. And uh, I took it home and melted it down. And I applied it to a pair of walking books that I had. Not these ones, it was a different pair, but. Uh, and I went out walking, I think it was about a week later, and I found it just started to crack. It was too hard and brittle. So I thought, mm, no good. And I must have kept pondering on this for months and months. I think another year passed, and I come up with this. 
So I get two tins of these, I melt them down to a bar and a half of beeswax. Obviously I melt them down, I've got an old uh, tuna tin. Uh, it's quite cool even the wax is still melted now. I usually melt it down on this, I usually do it outside. Um, there's various methods. I've never tried a microwave, I don't know if you can, but obviously you can't put it in a metal container if you do. But I've got this off eBay, I think it's £5 it comes with postage, it comes in a nice little box, a solid box which I have in my backpack, and that's how I do my brews. But yeah, I put it on that, low heat, we'll get it melted. But let's go on about melting, I ain't going to insult the intelligence, you know it's hot. Don't forget safety, wear a pair of these, a pair of gloves, don't be stupid. And if it does catch fire, 9 times out of 10, if I just go like I'm blowing a candle out, it usually goes out. If you don't, I've always got a cloth, a damp cloth, which I've wrung out. They're always in just at the side of me when I'm doing this. And if it does, I just turn the gas off, place the cloth off. I mean, we've all seen chip fires and people pouring water on them. Same effect. Don't do it. Don't be stupid. And that's all I'm going to say on the subject. So just be safe. Anyway, once I've melted it, I apply it to my boat. I've already applied it to this because I've tried. To, I keep failing this camera, I don't know why, I've never tried a video, I'm using hints and photography so you have to bear with me, this is all new to me and even audio is all new to me so anyway, here it goes, anyway, don't use a rag because it's like um, like a wick on a candle, it just soaks it up, so I found using a toothbrush, apply it with a toothbrush, this is starting to go off look, but you get the general idea once it's all melted, you rub it all in the nooks and crannies, getting absolutely everywhere. Oh, I rub it into the stitching everywhere. So I just found an old toothbrush. Don't use your partners. They don't like it. Trust me. I've been there. Anyway, once it's all in there and you've got, you've done all the boat. I've even done uh, oh, This has got like uh, a fabric. What proof pound fabric? I've even put it on that. Anyway, once it's done and you, you, you're satisfied with it. Ah, I've got to say this. I've been dying to say this for years. Here's one I prepared earlier. <laughs> anyway, what I usually do is I melt it down. A friend of mine that I used to go walking with, uh, he has a hot air gun and uh, he, he adopted this method. And so he, he started using a hot air gun on his boots. Um, usually I used to have a gas stove, but uh, now I'm electric. But I used to hold it off of the gas stove. If you get the picture, I suppose I could use that really. Uh, I've come across this. This is an idea. I think it comes under smokers' lighters. I'm not a smoker personally, but I was looking for some type of flame. Uh, I've had this one a while and the click has gone on it. So what I usually do, light it. And uh, oh, you can see it. I just melt it in. Don't hold it in one area all the time. Just keep it moving. You can see the, the fumes coming off there if you do. You don't want to cook, but I melt it in all the stitching everywhere. I think you've got to across all the boot. Be, be safe with this. Probably a pair of gloves might be best. Anyway, once it's uh, melted, I usually put it to one side for an hour. The two or something, it's good to go. Put your laces in, you're good to go, really. And that lasts for ages. I mean, even this boot here, I washed. And it's still on there. Like I say, I wash them down with a mild bit of fairy liquid, some warm water. Give them a scrub, good scrub of this. I did rush this boat, but now time to tell you, when I don't wash them, you can still get that wax. It's hard to get off, so that's how good it is. So give it a go, see what you think, let me know. Any comments, please leave them in the box below, as per usual. And thank you for watching my channel. I'm open to cover a lot of things. Uh, if there's anything specific that you want me to cover, and you do like my channel, obviously sub subscribe, let me know what it is, uh, and I'll try my best. Uh, but you'll just have to bear with me, because this is all new to me. But anyway, thank you for watching. Goodbye.